Hey guys, Comic Boom here for another indie comic book review. We are going to be reviewing Mark Millar and Matteo Scalera's King of Spies, which debuts December 1st, 2021. The world's greatest secret agent has six months to live, a lot of regrets, and time to take out the real bastards. <laughs> now this is, let's face it, this this comic book, when you read the solicit for this, I mean, this this gorgeous this gorgeous solicit, which is in the pages of multiple image comics in the month of November, advertising, uh, not surprisingly, Mark Millar's uh, <laughs> next comic book. This just cries out for movie, doesn't it? I mean, he's it just has all the hallmarks of something you'd expect that would come from Mark Millar. You know, a disgruntled spy, violence, retribution. I mean, this uh, it's a four-issue miniseries. Uh, you got Matteo Scalera on the art. This looks like a lot of fun. This looks like something that you would expect to expect to see in a movie. I, I I picture like Pierce Brosnan being in this movie, King of Spies. You know, an older Pierce Brosnan, i.e., an older sort of James Bond character, realizing that his life has gone to complete and utter shit. And before he dies, he's got six months to live. He wants to kill the real bastards because he wasted all those forty years of being a spy basically working for people that were reprehensible, namely, of course, numerous intelligence agencies all over the world. And if the world right now is a piece of garbage, if the world is shit right now, well, isn't it the fault of the world governments? What, what, what was the point of all that espionage? Here we got this guy in this, this king of spies, top of the world, and he finds out that he's dying and his life is his life is a garbage dump. He's got no friends. He's got no family. He's got a son out there somewhere. He doesn't know who he is. Uh, he's just got, he's got nothing to show for it except a, a decaying body that will be dead in six months. And he's got six months to right some wrongs or at least take out the trash. That's what this series is about. We're going to review issue one here. It's uh, on the surface. It sounds tropey, but let's Let's see how, let's, let's just check out, let's see how this comic book actually reads, shall we? Because I'm, I'm curious as hell to see how this is going to actually read myself. And uh, let me see here. I'm just trying to get my bearings on this. Uh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Just fixing that up there. All right. So let's see what we got here. Now, Mark Millar, uh, I got to say, like, this cover is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. It looks like it looks like it would be like almost like an, a, a cover of a pulp book or a pulp uh, action espionage book from the 1950s or 60s. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. Very well done. And uh, the, the full team here, Mark Millar is the writer. Uh, Matteo Scalera is the artist. Uh, Giovanna Nero is the colorist. Clem Robbins is the letterer. Melina Makulik is designer and production. Francis Mullen, editorial production manager. And Lucy Millar is the CEO. Cover artists are Matteo Scalera, Mark Schier Schiarello, and Oscar Yildirim. So design team, Oscar Yildirim and Eddie Thornton. Created by Mark Miller at Netflix. So we got Netflix getting some love here in the pages of an image comic. That's good to see. And it's also not surprising. But right away, we start off here in Panama City. It's January of 1990. Uh, and this is two weeks after the United States has invaded the country. And boom, we see this incredible action scene. And all of a sudden we see this, this guy who ends up being this guy named Roland. He's this super spy. He's taking out the bad guys. And I mean, right away, this, this feels cinematic right away. I mean, Matteo Scalera's art, I mean, gets us, gets you right, gets us right into the action right away. A lot of fun. Great to read. And he, he literally, he, when he jumps off this building, he lands on top of an ambulance just as a woman's giving birth. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he, he goes into the ambulance, he takes one of the oxygen tanks, and of course he uses the oxygen tanks to, to create another explosion and to escape. And as he runs off, he says to the woman who just gave birth, Roland's a good name for a boy. I mean, 
it's something that you could you could imagine very easily imagine a James Bond type of character to do. So right away, M M uh, Mark Millar is establishing the stakes here through Mat Matthias Killer's fantastic art, great art, action packed, visceral, uh, a lot of movement, coloring is great. Right away, you're getting a sort of like an espionage feel. This is a cocky British Secret Service agent, or at least I don't even know if it's Secret Service. Maybe it's the U.S. I'm assuming it's it's just from the cover. I'm assuming it's British Secret Service, and he's he basically uh, the first. I guess you could say the first. I would say first third of this comic is just this Roland character uh, in in his prime secret agent years escaping from Panama City and he of course confronts the twins so he's there's these two women that attack him he's got to escape there's these two women attacking him called the twins again this is just like a James Bond movie you know James Bond always has some crazy kind of villain or villains that attack him and you know it's 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 exactly what you you would expect a secret a secret agent to confront you know just worthy opponents uh, able able-bodied, powerful, or very skilled opponents. And of course, he's got to take them on. And it's, But for the grace of God and a little bit of luck and secret agent skill, he manages to get away. I mean, it's visceral here. He stabs one through the hand. Uh, he ends up getting sliced up pretty good himself. He plants a bomb uh, on top of the train. It's highly flammable uh, train. It's a, it's a train filled with a bunch of explosive, uh, ex ex flammable material. Explodes. He escapes. He gets away, and we have this almost like this Nor Noriega type of character trying to escape from this Roland King. And Roland King is, of course, the secret agent, and hence the name of the title, King of Spies. Well, Roland King is the secret agent, and he manages to get on the plane, and he uh, manages to successfully, uh, you know, kill the bad guys. And it's another example of a successful James Bond-like mission. In the, in the King of Spies. And then, of course, uh, the, the scene then, again, you can just imagine this flash forward basically 30 years later, because that was in 1990, 30 years later. Now we have, we're subjected to this 65 year old Roland King. You know, he's got a little bit of a belly on him. He's got gray hair. He's, you know, we find out later he's 65 years old. Frankly, he, I think he ages terribly. I mean, I, I know a lot of 65 year olds that have kept in good shape that have aged much better than this Roland King. Roland King has aged terribly here, but it, you know, he's got, he's got a woman in his bed who clearly loves him. He's having a good time with her and, and she loves him and he's, he has fun with her. But as it's later revealed, he's, he's, he's really got an empty life. Now, what he's done is that in the years since he, he, he's never really retired from the field. He's basically been moved up. He's not an operative anymore, but he was kept busy in his sort of so-called retirement he was a directorship of three different defense companies, a chair of different charities. All, all his job was to cover up certain things while the world did, did certain businesses. And he, his job was essentially, uh, is essentially now in the modern day, in the present days, to, 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 seek, to work behind the scenes to ultimately help facilitate various espionage missions. That's the impression you get from this Roland King now in the present. And... And he obviously he's someone of he's he's someone clearly of some stature. He even like at one point even meets the queen, and the queen even tells him at one point, uh, you know, he, the queen says, uh, "Do you think you're going to miss your very exciting life, Mr. Roland?" And and he said, "Well, he's not going to miss being shot at," and and she she rem she tells him, "Medals aren't for bravery. The medals are for the sacrifices," and and that's what. Uh, so even the queen seems seems to know that and. And that really is something that's at the heart of this of this comic is that the, Roland King made a great deal of sacrifice being a secret agent. And in fact, he sacrificed the integrity of his entire life. That's really what he did. Everything he did in his life involved a sacrifice. As he goes on to say, he's cheated on his uh, on his wife with multiple women. He was a terrible father to his son. He he was irresponsible. The only thing that he worked hard at and was very good at was obviously handling uh, his missions for the people he worked for, the various people he worked for. And he worked for scumbags and he worked for, he worked for angels, he worked for devils. He did exactly what spies do. You, you, you do your job and you do it for, for king and country and you simply do what you're told and you're a good soldier, you're a good spy, you do what it is 
that you have to do. You follow orders and at the end you retire and you move on. But unfortunately, unfortunately for Roland King here, he's not happy in retirement. He's questioning himself. He's an older man. He's a 65 year old man looking back at his life and realizing that he has in fact nothing. That all that stuff that he did, he can't even look back and say that he's accomplished anything because the world is a shithole. You know, countries hate each other. People are at war. Uh, toxic culture everywhere. Toxic polit politics, toxic culture, toxic everything. Everybody hates everybody. The world's a shithole, right? We all know this, right? <laughs> well, I like to think of myself as an optimist, but you got to get into the field of the comic, okay? So I don't think the world's that bad, God forbid. But uh, Roland King has had better days and he's kind of depressed. Because he's got no woman, he's got no family. And then to top it off, the poor bastard, you know, he gets, you know, he 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 gets confronted by a couple of older, he, even the gentleman's club that he's at, the, the new membership of the people at the gentleman's club are, are jerks. They don't respect the, the old way. They don't respect the old rules. There's no respect anymore. There's no almost chivalry. There's no, there's no kindness. There's no order. And of course, there's just punks and jerks, jerk offs, and, he, and he's had enough of it. And then to top it off, he finds out that he's got a glioblastoma, a, a, glioblastoma, a tumor uh, that's a huge tumor in his head. He's got six months to live and he'll be dead by summer. <laughs> and there's a great scene here where he just basically says, F U C K. You know, he says, I think he's entitled to swear. I mean, the guy, and then he reflects back on his life and he thinks about his son and that he's, that he doesn't know him. And he tells the doctor, don't even bother calling my kid. I mean, the, the kid doesn't know me. It's a waste of a phone call. The guy is depressed as hell. And he is, he's really, really depressed. And he decides that he makes the judgment call that he, if he's going to go out, he'll be, he's not going to go out quietly into the night. You know, he's not going to go quietly. He's, he's going to go out loudly with a bang and he's going to be taken out because he knows where all the scum in the world are. He knows who the corporate higher ups are. He actually knows, you know, when we talk about the, the, the secret government or they or them, when we use those words about describing, you know, maybe secret government agencies, he actually knows who those people are. <laughs> and he's decided he's going to take them out. And he starts with the, with the assholes at the, uh, at the gentleman's club he's at, and he just takes them all out. And he's absolutely brutal. His, I mean, uh, it reminds me of that old, uh, of that old country song, you know, I'm not as, uh, by Toby Keith, you know, I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I'll ever be. That's Roland King. He's going to be kicking some ass here. That's why I love this. And Hey, He's kicking ass. He's taking names and he's not going to finish. He, he's got six months to live. He's got three months to live while he's still got his good health. After that, it's going to be really downhill. So he's got three months to really kick some ass. That's what he's going to do. And, uh, you know, you know, I mean, when you kick some ass like that, I, I guess when you kick that much ass, I guess it's like having sex. You might as well have a cigarette when you're done, right? <laughs> Why not? I mean, he's going to be smoking up a storm here because it's not like he's got to worry about dying from cancer. He's already, he's a walking dead man. So why not take out some scum while you're while you're busy uh, while your body is busy dying anyway? What the hell do you got to lose? And hey, if this guy can take out a few bad guys for the rest of us to make the world a better place, all the power to Roland King. That's why I love this, Matteo Scalera, man. You on the art, you've done a fantastic job. I I, enjoy, I just thoroughly enjoyed this. This final page here with 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 London, uh with the tower, with, with the rain coming down and the, and the people on the street with the umbrellas and, and, and rolling King in the vehicle as it drives down the street, uh, ominous uh, as a sign of, we, we know what's going to come. It's starting to rain. And when the dawn comes, when the dawn comes, that might be when rolling King is dead, but after which I'm sure a lot of other bad guys are going to be dead. Now, what's interesting about this is I'm wondering if at the end of the day here, I'm wondering if, the, some of the, some, I think some of the misdirection or some of the uh, surprises in store, I wonder if his, Roland will confront his own son. I wonder if Roland King's own son might be a secret agent that might be sent in to take him out. And so I think, I mean, knowing, uh, you know, knowing Mark Millar here, you know that there's likely going to be some catch that Roland King is likely going to be confronting if he's going to be confronting the, this new world order, which he helped create, which is so corrupt and he wants to take it down before he dies, 
Well, it might be that his own son is part of that new world order. I'm guessing. I'm just venturing a guess here. We we only see a picture of his son. We see vision. Uh, we see a couple of panels of which I assume are his son as a young boy. But I'm assuming that there's going to be a catch here. That is, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be some moral dilemma and some additional conflict that Roland King's going to have to confront some personal demon that he's going to have to f confront as this story progresses. It's only four issues long, so this is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. I would love to see Pierce Brosnan in a movie about this, an older Pierce Brosnan, a bitter old secret agent wanting to make amends and trying desperately to do so as he kicks some ass. I think that would be fantastic. But guys, I think this is... Uh, this, this is a lot of fun, and this might be a little bit tropey. This might seem a little bit tropey, but frankly, I don't care. I mean, uh, I'm having a lot, I'm having a lot of fun with this, and I think we all can have a lot of fun with it. And so, uh, I would encourage people to pick this up. And again, uh, you're going to see this advertisement for for uh, King of Spies probably everywhere, and. I think that this is just a Netflix show just waiting to happen. I don't, I haven't, I'm not a diehard follower of, of comic book speculation all the time. There's lots that I miss because there's so much always going on. So perhaps maybe King of Spies has already been, you know, he, he is already on the Netflix slate for, for being made into a movie. Maybe it is. So possible speculator alert here, guys. Check out King of Spies. I definitely am going to. So check it out and read it yourselves, guys. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. And until next time, Comic Boom out.